Hey guys, Tia Walker here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Bantu knot tutorial. I am obsessed with this style, so let's just get into it. You want to start off with clean, blow-dried hair. You want to take some hair ties, the ones that do not pull out your hair. No rubber bands. We want to section off our hair first, and I'm going to do the front of my head first just to see what I'm working with to see the parts that I want to get a visual of what this is gonna look like so I'm just gonna section it off and I wanted five sections in the front of my head and I kind of wanted some triangles too in the front you can honestly section it however you like with whichever way is more flattering to your head um, I thought this was cool and cute so I did two sections on one side and I did two, um, one in the middle and two sections on the other side. And I didn't put it in a ponytail just yet. I just wanted to get a visual of what I was working with first. And I'm just trying to figure it out. And the sections do not have to be perfect. Honestly, I like sections that aren't perfect. I think it gives it more, uh, <laughs> a more of a touch. And now I'm liking the sections that I have. I'm like, okay, cute, flattering, nice, clean. If you're gonna leave your edges out, make sure you do not put them in the ponytail. You wanna take some edge control. I'm taking the edge booster. You can get it on Amazon, like me. So I'm gonna take this edge control brush and just brush out my edges. And then I'm gonna put the edge control all around that section before I put it in a ponytail. You want to brush the section first before putting it in a ponytail. You want everything to just be laying flat and nice, but you do not want to, when you're tying up this ponytail, you don't, the section, you do not want it to be super tight because the band too knot will make the section tighter and you will have a super uh, intense headache and that is not cool. <laughs> you will want to take this out immediately. <laughs> okay, so make sure the section is not super tight. So I'm not now just doing that to each section, making sure everything is looking nice and right. Um, if it is too tight, obviously just take it out, do it over. Make sure you are brushing each section to lay flat and smooth. This makes the look look cleaner and um, just better and more professional. Not like you did it and didn't know what you was doing. I'm the type of person, if I'm going to do something, I want it to look like a professional did it. So I have my sections. I'm liking how they're looking. Now I'm going to just section off the back and put them in ponytails also. And it doesn't have to be super clean. As long as the sections are neat, it doesn't have to be like super clean cut sections. It doesn't have to be precise. Every section doesn't have to be like a perfect square. As long as the sections are clean, it doesn't have to be clean. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? As long as they're neat, it doesn't have to be crazy like cut. If that makes sense to you. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> now I'm going to take this hair. I got this hair off of Amazon also. I'm gonna take the section, I'm gonna half it, and then I'm gonna half that other section. So you should be able to get four um, Bantu knots off of one pack. I think I used three packs for this look, but I'm gonna show you guys. I am now just taking uh, the weave or the braiding hair. I'm gonna twist it around the, the hair tie, and then I'm gonna end up twisting my hair to the braiding hair so it just connects you can do it however you want to do it but i don't know if that makes sense but you guys can just see it or rewind it and see it over and i know some people put the braiding hair through the hair tie some people do that i don't i'm just going to take a twist cream you can use this or you can also use the edge control too. I do use the edge control 
to blend the hair and the braiding hair at the end. Um, so you just want to use the edge control to seal your hair with the braiding hair. So you just twist up the braiding hair and then wrap it around, twist it, wrap it around, twist it, wrap it around, twist it, wrap it around. Adding your edge control or twist cream, whatever you want to use. And when you get to the end, you just want to twist it with edge control to seal it in because the twist cream isn't going to seal it in. And then you just want to wrap it around and under. When you're wrapping it, make sure each section goes under the one you just wrapped. And then I'm going to take another hair tie. We're going to be using a lot of hair ties. And I'm just going to add that on top of it to make sure... It doesn't move, it doesn't come out, because if you want to wear this hairstyle for a couple days, you can. Some people will probably use a bobby pin. I think bobby pins suck. If I don't have to ever use a bobby pin another day in my life, I won't. <laughs> but some styles, you need it. But honestly, if I don't need it, need it, I won't use it. And I use some scissors to cut the extra hair, like the loose hairs out then i'm just repeating those steps over and over and over and over again it's super easy honestly if i can do this y'all i wanted to do like some big box braids but i couldn't do it <laughs> um and i was like you know what this might be a style i can do because i was doing this sponsorship for this brand and i wanted my hair to be super cultured and i was like braids and then i was like you know what i used to do bantu knots all the time growing up so let me just do the bantu knots but let me add some braiding hair and i loved how it came out it was just so fly it's super different and bold but it's definitely a look nevertheless so make sure you are not tying up your edges you want to keep them out we don't want our edges being pulled at all especially when you want to um at the end it just looks better with your edges out so you don't want to pull them out at the end you want to make sure you have them out already make these bantu knots bigger if you want or you can make them smaller by using less hair or more hair um the first time i used less hair and i definitely like the look when the bantu knots are a bit bigger honestly with practice you'll get better because the first time was cute but this time i was absolutely obsessed with them they were super cute and I just love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Now it's time for me to do my edges. And I'm taking a different, I'm, I'm probably taking the same edge control, I don't know. And just sleeking it down. I feel like edge control brushes are so necessary. They have a comb on one side and then the brush on the other. I get mine on Amazon. I feel like I get everything on Amazon. Amazon is literally the GOAT. Uh, I'm going to try to leave links in the description box. If not, you can just literally type it in and it'll pop up. And this is the final look. I think it's a look. It's super bold, beautiful. I mean, if you want a statement hairstyle this is the look for you thank you guys so much for watching if you love this look and you want more hair tutorials definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i love you guys i'll see you in the next one be safe goodbye guys